Hello everyone and welcome back to Knit California. My name is Leslie, otherwise known as Knit California here on YouTube and also on Instagram. And I am leaving tomorrow for a five day camping trip and I'm gonna show you what I'm taking along with me. My husband's family has been going on this annual camping trip for years and years and years um, and this is going to be my second time going up to the lake in Northern California. So we've got a long drive ahead of us and I have picked out three very specific projects to bring on this trip with me. Um, the last time I took a trip went to Las Vegas and I brought literally all of my works in progress um, and everyone told me that I was crazy <laughs> but I worked on almost all of them while I was there so I felt validated in my decisions um, but this time I have a very specific reason for bringing all three of these projects the trip that we are going on is five days that includes Thursday we're driving up um, and then Monday we're driving home. Uh, it's a long drive. I think it's about eight hours. Um, but hopefully I will not be the one driving for most of it. I probably will have to do some driving. But when I'm not driving, this leads me right into project number one. Project number one is my Maddie cardigan. Here we go. This is a colorwork steaked cardigan pattern that I have started. Um, I'm about halfway through the colorwork now at this point, and this is the project that I am like reaching for the most right now. And so I definitely wanted to bring it, but I don't know how well I'm going to be able to focus on actually doing colorwork when we are at the lake. And like actually camping. I feel like when we are at the campsite I'm going to be like wanting to knit at times but very busy having to keep tabs on the kids and just like what's happening. Everyone's gonna be hungry. I'm gonna need to like watch the fire or something. I don't know. I just feel like having to juggle like two balls of yarn while doing this and focusing on my color work pattern is just going to be really challenging. So I think I can like do that pretty decently while we're in the car. Um, I'm totally fine knitting in the car. I love knitting in the car. It's like there's nothing really else to do so why not knit? Um, and I don't get car sick from this so it makes me very grateful. Um, and so I think that's going to be the main time when I'll be able to work on this. And this project is made with, uh, I'm knitting this with Biche A Bouche Le Petit Lambs Wool and I'm showing you this because I need to skein up this one more skein just to make sure I have enough purple for the trip. Okay, project number two. I actually cast this on yesterday or the day before, specifically for this trip. So, it's a sock toe. I, okay. My journey with socks has not always been easy, um, but I wanted to have a project specifically for camping. I want this to be like, this is my 2022 camping project. I'm hoping to have at least one sock done and to start the second sock um, while we're there. I'm hoping this is the project that I will reach for the most while we are actually like camping at the campsite. Um, it's just a vanilla toe up sock. The pattern is a free pattern from Tannis Fiber Arts. It's called Trusty Toe Up Socks and it's free, a free download on Ravelry. Um, link, links for all of these will be down in the description. Um, but again, I'm hoping this will be the project that I reach for when we're at the campsite, when we're sitting at the lake, if we're going on a drive while we're there. Um, it's small and it'll be easy to like 
stick my smaller project bag in my beach bag or whatever and take it with us. Like I mentioned before, my journey with knitting socks has not always been the easiest. Um, the last socks that I showed on my channel have now been frogged. Actually, this is all that's left. I figured I would keep the cuff in case I need to use it again. I don't know. Um, but I have chosen new yarn. So look how beautiful this is. This is long dog yarn in uh, her mohair sock base in the colorway Frosted Window Pane. Um, and to me, like, this was part of her cozy collection over the last, like, winter season. It looks kind of just like a snowy's, snowy's, snowy day. Um, but it also kind of just looks like, you know, campfire and, like, roasted marshmallows which is really the vibe I'm going for for the camping trip. Um, and so I really just wanted to choose totally new yarn, a totally new sock pattern, and I really wanted to try a toe up sock this time around because I have been trying cuff down and just like not getting very far. Uh, this will have a different heel construction. I don't know yet if I'm gonna choose the short row heel or if I'm just gonna like knit the tube and go for a fully afterthought heel. Um, I'll make that decision on the fly while I'm camping. So um, this is project number two. And last but not least, I am bringing my Moonset Tea. This has been a project on my needles since December, yes, of 2021. Um, I have made significant progress on it since then, and I'm on the body, and once I'm done with the body, it'll be done. Um, besides sewing this piece down here. Um, but I figured if I get bored of working on the socks, I can always grab this, it's, uh, I'm on the body so it's a straight stockinette section um, and I can make progress on this. Um, this is a pattern by Ozetta and the yarn that I'm using is Sorella yarn in the colorway Velvet. This is a classic sock fingering base and this was a fall tonal from last year 2021 uh one of my favorite tonal palettes she has ever done um and yeah i mean nothing really else to say about that um i don't know how often i will grab this um like i said hopefully i will be grabbing the socks more but i'm bringing it so i'm gonna show you um i am super excited to be going on this trip um, and when I come back, I will update you on how far, what my progress was, how far I've got on all three of these projects. <laughs> 